Hello, my name is Anjali Bikan, and I'm a third year architecture student. I'm also one of your ISAs for ARC 132 this quarter, and I'm going to show you how to make 2D, which is essentially a method of outputting 2D line drawings from three-dimensional models. I'm also going to show you how to set and save parallel views in Rhino, which is going to give us the orthographic projections drawing set required for this assignment and for future use. By the end of this video, we'll have a roof plan, two elevation views, and a parallel view. A parallel view is one in which the projected lines from any given face all run parallel to one another and never converge. This is different from a perspective view where the projected lines would converge at um, one, two, or three different points. And um, in the case of the parallel view, uh, the lines never converge. Um, now to begin, I'll be using this 3D study model to, uh, for the make 2D process. And before I do that, I will show you how to set this um, model in a parallel view. So currently, I, if I go to my right hand side, I can see that the properties tab is this um, circular icon. And I'm just going to click on that. I can see that projection is currently in perspective. And to set that to parallel, I would have to click the drop down arrow and select parallel from the three given options. Once I select parallel, we can note that the um, view has changed drastically and now all the edges are parallel to one another, which is what we're looking for. And now this is a method of setting a parallel view for from a perspective. And um, Rhino also has another inbuilt parallel view called an isometric view. And in order to set that, I'm gonna go to the left-hand side of my screen, select the um, downward facing arrow, go to set view, go to isometric and select southeast. Now that I've done that, I have a perfect isometric view, which is one where all the axes are at 120 degrees, one another and the angle made with the edge of the volume and the ground plane is 30 degrees on either side. This is a nice view to show um, detail on um, these two facades. And now that I've set the parallel view in both just the perspective as well as the isometric, I would like to save this as a named view in order to access it. So this means that I don't have to set parallel views every time I want to view or edit them. I can simply locate the saved view every time I want to um, access it. In order to do so, I'm going to go to the right hand side of my screen and select this camera icon, which is called named views. If this is not, if you're not able to locate this on your tab, Simply click the options button and you'll find all the different options that can be displayed in that side of the tab. And, um, and you can just click named views and that'll um, pop up as the space where you can um, actually just save the view. So now I'll click on the save as button and this is going to prompt a dialog box and I'll be calling this view uh, isometric. Just click OK. And now if I accidentally just switch the angle or if I'm working on a different part of the model and I just want to come back to my view, all I have to do is go to named views and just double click um, the named view and it'll come right back to where you saved it. I'm just coming back to properties and another way to locate named views is by going to the left hand side of the screen clicking the downward facing arrow going to set view and named views and that will automatically uh, bring up the named view tab on the right hand side 
now that I have um, learned to set and save uh, a perspective, a parallel view and perspective and an isometric view, I can go ahead and start the make 2D process for the 2D line drawings. So now, just if I double click the name, it's going to bring me to all the different active um, viewports. Currently, the isometric view is active, but the different views shown here are the roof plan, the two elevations, and the isometric view. In order to create the Make 2D, I can simply type in Make 2D and select the objects that I would like to draw. Then it's going to prompt you to enter and this will um, bring up our dialog box. Now before I go ahead and um, um, choose different options, I would like to state that it is important to have a Rhino model that is clean and legible. Um, just making sure that all the corners meet nicely and that there aren't any um, rough edges is important because this will result in drawings that are far more cleaner and easier to refine later on. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is probably a good point to just double check your model and just make sure you're happy with how it's looking. And now with the dialog box, I can see that it is giving me an option for view where I can set the different view that I would want um, to actually um, make the make 2D of. So under projection, I'm just going to click view and that prompts that the make 2D process is only going to happen for one particular view and we can pick any given view, be it isometric, top, front or right. There's also another option to do third angle projection where at the same time it will make 2D the top view, two elevations as well as the parallel view. But I think it's important to note that the make 2D process can sometimes take a little time for to output and um, doing so many views at once can take your computer a little longer than expected. So just a slight warning before you go in for that view. Um, but for a first time, I would actually recommend going in with the view and doing each view each time just for good practice. For now, I'm going to go in with third angle projection and just get in all the views at um, one shot. And then under the option section, I'm going to make sure I select maintain source layers. So what this does is make sure is that all the layers in my line drawing are sourced from their original um, 3D components. Now I'm just going to make sure that all the um, other checkboxes are just unchecked for now. But if you were to check them, the hidden line option would, for example, just bring out some of the hidden qualities in the model, like it would bring up some of the lines that are behind what is actually visible. And the scene silhouette would highlight the outer border of your drawing. And um, the group output would actually group some of the lines together in the output. Now, the final step is just to give it a layer name. And I'm going to call this um, orthographic graph okay. yeah and just click okay now again this is probably going to take um a few minutes to quickly um output but if you're doing just one view it shouldn't take as much time now that that is this thing will prompt the amount of time it's taken. Uh, in my case, it was 11.32 seconds, which is actually pretty good, but it can take longer. Now to see where the drawings have been outputted, I would double click the top view setting. And um, just another note that anytime the make 2D command is done, the output comes to the origin. So just making sure that you have a decluttered origin can help with 
pulling the drawing aside to see what we've come up with. So now we can see that we have the top view, the parallel view, and the two elevation views together. And um, just to check how the layers have been assigned, assigned sorry, I'm gonna go to my layer tab. And you can see that the make 2D that I have this um, layer called orthographic and that is the layer where my output has been uh, where my 2D lines have been outputted to and we can see that although there's no names for them these are sort of um, coded by color and now that we have these 2D line drawings this is not the final drawing and it is important to note that there is a certain level of cleaning and refinement after this point before we can call it a drawing. Now this should look familiar from last quarter for the found object um, project that was done. But what's different is we have this added three dimensional drawing. And um, I think there would just be a few quick quick refinement refinements to be done to this for example um if i just go into this top view i can see that there's an additional white line that um i don't want it to suddenly change line weights so the different methods of sort of cleaning and ref uh, refining the drawings or by trimming um, additional lines, extending, shortened lines, and actually going in and drawing a few lines. So in this case, for the top view, I'm just going to quickly delete this additional line, then go ahead and use the extend command. I'm going to select this line as my boundary, hit enter, and then select this line and it will um, extend the line as required so um, that is a method of refining the drawings and um, the 3d one is probably the one that's going to take a little more refinement and cleaning towards the end and based on line weights, you would still follow the sort of rule of what's closest to you is um, a thickest line weight or darkest. But it is also important to remember that there is an added quality of depth now. Like along this line, we can see that this is actually going in. So um, that is one thing to keep in mind. And then also that just having... Um, a nice thick border around the outline of the 3d drawing will help it pop and just sort of show um, the three-dimensional qualities of the volume and yeah so these are the four different orthographic drawings from the make 2d process thank you so much